Yesterday, the Karni Sena and the governments of Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh were appealed to the Supreme Court to impose a ban on Ranveer, Deepika and Shahid starer Padmavat. But the Supreme Court has something to say to them. Stay tuned to find out what. Yesterday, we told you that 200 women from Rajput Karni Sena and Johar Smriti Sansthan marched in Chittorgarh with swords, claiming to end their lives if Sanjay Leela Bhansali's magnum opus Padmavat releases. The women marched under the banners of Johar Shatrani Manch. They even wrote memorandums to the Governor of Rajasthan, Chief Minister, President and Prime Minister. Suresh Kumar Khatik, Subdivisional Officer of Chittorgarh said, They gave us the memoranda seeking a countrywide ban on the film. However, the Supreme Court refused to put a ban on the film and instead asked the state government to abide by the verdict. The three-member panel of judges was headed by Deepak Mishra, who slammed the state governments and said, People must understand that the Supreme Court has passed an order. They must abide by it. It is the obligation of the states to maintain law and order. The bench also comprising Justices A.M. Khanvilkar and D.Y. Chandrachur said, We are not inclined to modify our order. The bench said while dismissing the plea. It asked the states to follow its order and gave them the liberty to approach it again if the situation arises. Coming back to the news, we are sure that Team Padmavat can't wipe smiles off their faces.